I think one of the things that we're seeing here is the the athleticism is is really kind of coming back. And there was one play where um, in the second quarter he had a strong challenge. It was a Tari Eason, and then he had a he landed in a quick bounce to go and snag the rebound. And I thought there that's a play that people might not remember, but when you look at it, you're like, oh wow, that's jump, land, bounce right back up, rip a rebound and start start the transition. And it's really getting that feeling of, okay, Rob is getting a lot closer to being himself. I think one of the things that I, I noticed, you know, he's, um, you know, it, it was funny on a couple of his offensive rebounds, you could see him gesturing and he wasn't saying lob it to me. He was saying, shoot it. Cause I got it. If you miss, like there was yeah. one, I think, I think it was like a Grant Williams floater that Grant missed. And you can see Rob in the background, like I got it, go ahead and you know, shoot it. Grant's yeah, not even yeah. close, but Rob does, you know, gobble up the offensive rebound. And it's like, you know, that level of, of confidence, that level of like directing things and saying like, like, you know, just kind of having that knowledge of not only am I, am I confident that I'll get this rebound, you should shoot this because because like I know it like I'm I'm very yeah. confident in this moment. I think that matters a lot, and it's kind of it's kind of related to um you know you know to 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 directing traffic, all this stuff. When you're watching a guy come back, it's it's all the little things. It's all the little things, like you were saying to your point, the the the, the big things everybody's going to see. One thing that I really liked at the end of the first quarter, and people are not going to definitely not know this, because it ended up being a missed. I think a missed three pointer. Jason Tatum had the ball on the left block and it ended up being a miss or a turnover. It was a nothing play. But if you watch, it was right around the 36 second mark of the first quarter at the, at the end. Uh, Rob is at the left block and he's gesturing to, to Jason. Hey, and he had Sam Hauser behind him. Like he, as Sam Hauser is coming down to the corner, Rob is recognizing the defense is out of balance and they're all on that side. And he's like, I have a, a screen set up. You have the ball. Just skip it over to Sam Hauser. Get him the ball. And, and Rob recognizing all of this and, and kind of calling for it. Now Tatum didn't see it, but that recognition is, is it's not just bounce. It's not just all of the stuff that we've talked about. When you have that level of recognition, to me, what that says is he's not thinking about the knee. He's not thinking about his recovery. He's out there playing basketball. When that's not in your head and you start recognizing these other plays like, hey, hey, there's this thing that's open, even though it didn't happen. To me, that's like, OK, it's a reminder that how good he is. It tells me he's he's his mind is clear. And now. Moving it forward, when they go to film session and Jason sees that, he's like, oh, okay. Because as as nice as Luke Cornett is, he's not always recognizing that stuff. Rob sees the floor at a, at, at a much higher level. That's what makes him such a good passer. He's, he's so – he has good court awareness. So when he sees that and it, now it comes up in film session, now Tatum, Brown, Smart, Horford, they're all going to be aware – when Rob is on the court, hey, he's going to see things. Let's look for that as well. That's just part of the new Locked On Celtics podcast, so make sure you watch the whole show. This podcast is daily, Monday through Friday, so subscribe, ring the bell to get notified, leave a comment, join a growing community, and enjoy every single Locked On Celtics podcast.